Hi everyone, it's Heather Nichols again with another stamping technique to add stitching to your projects. We're using the Stamped and Stitch set from the Stamp Affair 2015 set. If you have other stitching stamps in your collection, they'll also work with the techniques that I'm sharing. If you've been stamping a while, you probably know how to do this technique. It's very easy. We're going to actually do some heat embossing with our stitched images to make them actually raised and dimensional on our projects. I'm stamping the stitched frame image in the set with Versamark ink, and Versamark is a slow drying, sticky ink, because what we want to do is we're going to sprinkle embossing powder onto the project, and it will stick to where we stamped the image with the Versamark ink. So I'm pouring the powder right over, the image and you can see I've got a tray that I catch the excess powder in and it's stuck to where I stamped with the Versamark ink. I'm just using a brush to brush away a few extra areas that I don't want. And then I'm going to use a heat tool and apply heat to the embossing powder until it melts and it'll get shiny when it melts. So here are my two embossed squares and they look like a dimensional kind of stitched effect on the card. Next I'm adding the little cross stitch to the corner of each of the squares. I'm again stamping them in Versamark ink and I'm going to emboss them again with white embossing powder. Now you can use any color embossing powder that you would like to add your stitching but I'm using white just to mimic like a white thread. In each square I'm putting a die cut heart. These are the heart prints die cuts. I'm using the largest heart and the middle size heart. And the pattern papers I'm using are from the Mood Mix pattern paper collection that was also a part of the Stamp Affair 2015 kit. Now you've probably seen maybe on cards where they take a die cut, they stick it down, and then they actually stitch across it with a sewing machine. So what I'm doing is I'm making my own stitching. I'm not using a sewing machine. Again, I'm stamping with Versamark ink the little stitch lines across those smaller hearts in the middle and we're sprinkling embossing powder on them and then we're going to use our heat tool again to melt the embossing powder and we'll create kind of that raised stitch line on there. So everything on here looks like I maybe sewed it with a sewing machine but I actually just embossed everything right on the card even the, onto the little die cut pieces. It looks pretty cool doesn't it? I have another stitch element to add with this little decorative stitch. It's called a buttonhole stitch and I'm just stamping that right on the edge of this pattern paper strip, again in Versamark ink. Now all the border stamps that are included in the kit are all designed so you can stamp them end to end so that if it doesn't reach like it doesn't reach on this five and a half inch strip, you can stamp it again and make them as long as you want. They're designed to fit right together. So I'm embossing that in white and then here's the little end piece that I just had to stamp a little bit extra. And then I think we're ready to put this card together. I'm going to use just a basic white cardstock base and we're going to just attach the craft cardstock piece that has the stitched heart elements to the front edge. And then we're going to add the little strip of, cards, of pattern paper that has the little buttonhole stitch element and it's going to overlap the craft cardstock and the white. And then I'm going to add my sentiment with a little tag. This is from the Tiny Tags die. So it's not the teeny tags that came in the Stamp Affair kit. This is actually the Tiny Tags dies that are available in the Paper Tray Ink store. And it fits the little hello sentiment that is a part of the Stamped and Stitch set. And I'm just tying that on with some rustic jute button twine. Just, I tied one knot and then I slid the tag on and then I'm tying another knot to secure that. and then just a little bit of adhesive on the back of the tag to just keep it where I want it to be on the card front. And there you have it. Beautiful stitch designs on your card projects without using a needle or thread. 
go to Nicole's blog to post your projects made with stamped stitch designs and get all the details on the contests. Thank you so much everybody for joining us for Stamp Affair 2015. Have a great rest of your day.